In this video we're looking at Google Drawing again and this time we're looking at creating an infographic using Google Drawing. So we're going to start by altering the page setup. So we're going to go for custom dimensions in pixels. So I'm going for 2000 by 800 which gives us a nice portrait style infographic format. We can then look to add a background color by inserting a shape. So we can go to the shape option, choose, and then we can just click and drag to give us our image. We can make the edge of that transparent and then choose a the color. I've added a custom color. Um, to do that, you click on custom. Come on, click on custom and then you can add your particular hex code. So if you're working uh, within brand guidelines, you can add the specific color that you want. So I'm going to add a second one, which is just slightly darker. And we're then going to add a further shape. And I can add some text. And I could just click into the shape and add the text. I'm adding a separate text box so I can arrange it and alter the position of it. So I can then select that text, alter the size, the color, and the size. Um, the font type should I wish I make it bold I alter the alignment I could add a link and then having got that there I can start to add some of the icons so the range of sites you can use to find icons uh, at ICT evangelist on Twitter suggested a number which I hadn't heard of. So there's Creative Commons, which allows you to search for images that you can use and gives you images that are uh, that are within license for you to use. It's really important that you just don't take images off the web. Especially when working with students, you need to set an example of finding images that are appropriate for you to use. I also use Icon Finder, Pixabay, and Pexels. So there are some image searches that you can use. I found some images already so I'm going to insert those. I can click on image and then I can just choose image to upload. So I've got some images here. And obviously the images, the sort of images you're after are PNGs so they have a transparent background. So I'll insert the rest of my images. I can also, if I choose to, just drag them as opposed to doing the insert option. And you'll see it will give me a guide as to when they are similar size. So you can see that they're similar size. You get the idea. And then I can start to add text boxes or further shapes. So I could add some by double clicking into a shape I can start typing. And I again can alter the size of the text. And correct the spelling. So you get the idea, 
I could add links to that if I chose to link to websites I could add lines and arrows oh, the great thing it has all of the features that you'd expect from Google Drawing so you can undo and redo from Google Apps even you can share it and add collaborators make it available to people with a link and when you're finished you can download it as a PDF a JPEG a PNG or a vector style graphic so there you have it Google drawing for creating infographics I hope you found the video useful if you liked it please remember to share it and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching